Gurinder, welcome to Aussie India. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, thanks for coming along uh, for this uh, Mosaic Cricket uh, launch. What do you think of uh, this Mosaic concept itself? Well, I think it's a great initiative that Cricket New South Wales has started. Um, it, it just gives the opportunity to a lot of young, I guess, don't have to be cricket players, but young, young kids um, to, to get involved in the sport. And uh, of course, uh, as I said, uh, when I was asked to address, you don't need a second invitation for the people from the subcontinent for the love of cricket. So in addition to those people from the subcontinent, how can we involve, you think, the other communities who are coming from non-traditional cricket playing nations? I think you can get them involved, by, but one of the things that Sydney Thunder do is they hold a Thunder Nation Cup which is they put out every community, they put out, um, they give out, you know, a, not a warning, but a, a letter to say, okay, we have this day for you guys. If you guys want to put forward a few teams, we have, you know, a ground for you. We have all the stumps, we have all the equipment. All you need to do is turn up and play and be involved in the Thunder Nation Cup. So I think that's very, very good, you know. Teams can just bring, bring five or six players, they have a team and just come and play. They don't have to worry about getting the bat, ball, the ground, you know, ringing up the council and stuff like that. So I think it's, it's a... It's very easy to be involved. And of course, uh, we know that uh, you had a successful tour of uh, India, uh, representing Australia A team, and also you played in IPL, we, we were talking about it. Uh, tell us a bit about your experience playing in India. It was a great experience, um, especially with the, the Australia A, you know, playing the four-day cricket games, um, two of them, which, which, you know, I never, never played any long format games or cr games of cricket in, in India. So it was really good to, to understand how the wickets play, how they deteriorate and, and what the differences are between there and, and in Australia. So it was really, really good learning curve for me. Is that a completely different ball game, you think, when compared to playing on Australian wicket as compared to Indian wicket? I think it's very, very different, yeah. Um, you know, they, the, the batsmen are getting out in different, different ways instead of the usual sort of caught behind and stuff like that. There's a few more, more catches in front of the wicket, you know, short cover or, or mid wicket and stuff like that because the bowler has to think a lot different, be a, bit, a lot smarter and a lot more patient. Um, you can't just, just, just blast out teams, you know. Maybe the spinners can with the, with the big spin and, and, and bounce, but I think being a pace bowler, you have to be a lot more patient. But uh, what about uh, the uh, uh, strength of Indian cricket, uh, for that matter, subcontinent cricket itself? You went and played there, you went and played with uh, different nationalities in the IPL team, for example. How was that experience? It was a great experience, um, especially for me, being someone very, very young, being able to play alongside, you know, JP Dumini, Albi Morkul, uh, Zaheer Khan, Yuvraj Singh, Amit Mishra, you know, all, all these great players, Quinton de Kock, um, you know, all these great players from, from the different countries, South African, Indian, um, you know, some English guys in the other teams and stuff like that. I think it's really, really good just to talk to all of them um, about each of their games and, and how their different conditions, how they adapt to the Indian conditions. You know, South Africa is somewhat like Australian conditions, I guess. So it's, it's good to talk to those guys and see how they change their game to, to the Indian conditions. Uh, Gurinder, you have already played uh, the one-day format for Australia. Obviously, your dream is to wear that baggy green. Of course, you know, it's every kid's dream to, to get the baggy green. Um, but I guess half of the dream is, you know, the one day, you know, you also want to play one day cricket for Australia. So that, that's half of the dream, I guess, come true. Um, and, and hopefully in, in the coming times, I can play a few more games in the one day one day arena and um, and do well for Australia but but at the moment I'm just hoping to do well for New South Wales. Now of course uh, this summer we are getting uh, West Indies, uh, New Zealand and of course India also is coming and playing some one day games. Uh, do you think that uh, you, you are hoping to get an opportunity to play for Australia again? Uh, I'm hoping to um, but I guess it's up to me to put the results on the board in whether it be the Sheffield Shield coming up or we have the final of the Matador Barbecue Cup on, on Sunday. So if I, if I get a run um, on Sunday, you know, hopefully take a few wickets and, and do really, really good and hopefully we can lift the trophy coming third time around, you know, lost in the last two finals. So, you know, it, it's for me, it's just doing well for New South Wales and I think everything else will take care of itself. Many of the kids uh, from the Indian community specifically and subcontinent community in general look up to you as their hero. What kind of advice would you give them? I um, just want to say, you know, just don't, if something's not happening straight away, don't give up. Uh, keep trying hard, keep training, keep giving it all of your effort. 
and and you never know how far you are from from breaking it into a team or you know underage teams or, or whatever it may be you know even in, in studies or if it's at work or, or you're doing a project of some kind um, you know always see it out to the end uh, make sure you can't look back on it and say oh maybe if I did it this way or maybe if I you know had a f few more few more weeks or, or months at it I could have finished it or something like that so I think Always give you 100% and, and make sure you see, see out whatever your dream is. Thanks very much for talking to us, Indian. No worries. Thank you. Thanks.